but you might want to see how I do these little pieces that I've been making lately with, uh, with the holes in them. So I would show you. Basically, just take some board here and little shingles off of Kathleen's roof. And basically, I'm kind of through this cylinder, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna muck it up here. So, so basically, just take these and so I'm gonna make a picture out of this one. I hope anyway. My uh, pictures so far haven't turned out very good, but but you know, practice, 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 right? So basically now all I'm going to do is I'm going to get these to touch. I'm going to push them in the middle here like that, and then I want them to see they're touching now on both sides. You can kind of see. See that or not? Ah. <gasps> oh, that wasn't a good idea. So I'm pushing the clay right together here. So on this one side, it's all sealed together. Let's circle there. Let's circle here. Then we take a little knife here and get wet. And then we're going to basically just voila. Now one trick about this is, you know, where those two walls kind of came together here, um, you've really got to make sure that they don't want to pop open because as it as they dry they tend to want to come apart so I really kind of learned through a lot of uh, a lot of uh, cracked pieces here you really want to tighten up this spot here so let's get the other hole in here now so that there's not going to be any separation here of course we can kind of clean all this muck up later I just want to get them nice, well, the clay is still wet, I want to get them nice and sealed here. But basically, this is this is kind of the thing. So, so I'm making the handle here, and I can just, you know, kind of create some, some uh, mark, or some spots in here where you can get your hands on. Now we just have to make like a little, um lip here. That, that. that is basically how I make the basic shape anyway. So there you go. There we go. All right. So I'm pouring this on here, I'm leaving some white areas here, or areas that are unglazed. So now, as I add the tea dust to it, whatever areas that I get here that are the raw clay still, like for instance right here, when I pour that like that, uh, pour this on, and anywhere it, it hits the raw glaze, like it did there, it'll be the tea dust color. Where it overlaps on the purple, it turns a great olive green color. And then, of course, then you got the eggplant, the purple, where it where it isn't. So I'm basically just wanting to, um, you know, fill in some of the spots here. And the trick is you don't want to cover up too much of the eggplant. So I'm trying to evaluate here before I just keep squirting and squirting. But I've still got some good spots of the eggplant, which I do on this side. So maybe what I'll do then, since this is kind of how it's developed, is kind of keep a little more of the 
true eggplant color. Okay, so basically then, that's how the piece looks now. And of course, as you might have noticed, the colors of the um, of the the glaze here are completely different from what it's going to end up. So that uh, takes a little getting used to. All right. So there you have it.